Okay, record again. The last part of the infrastructure equation is this top tacking rail. And you can see that I ran it just exactly along the original frame edge. Now, originally, the show cover was simply toenailed into the side walls, and uh -huh. that was problematic. So what Is I that why it ripped? And that's why it ripped. Um, I set the rail in just slightly beneath the historic uh, elevations so that the thickness of the fabric and the decorative tape that goes over the tacks will simply come up to historic levels. And um, something else that you can see is that all of these right angles that run along this are not typical of an upholstered piece. They're somewhat problematic and they, they show up as they can as an unsightly decorative element. And so I've tried to minimize that by just drawing upon the right angles. And so when you see the upholstery phase and you finally see the fabric and the decorative tape in it, there'll be nice concise corners with um, an onyx colored decorative nail that will be spaced um, approximately an inch or inch and a half in between. Um, a beautiful uh, woven decorative tape and so it will actually rather than trying to hide this line which is impossible we're going to call attention to the line as a decorative element and it should be handsome what we don't know at this point is how it will perform through this this flex point flex points with no structure structure beneath are always problematic do you want me to get a picture of that will be um, yeah, we'll be...